All right, Gemma, hang on, calm down, calm down. Here, it's not on there yet, Gemma. It's not. We gotta go find him. We gotta go find it. <laughs> You're gonna have to hold her. She's a little bit excited. Yeah. You ready to go, Gemma? Mine's usually spicier than this. Okay. I was just saying. Okay. This one doesn't like spicy at all. Hate it. But how's that? Really good. What's up guys, it's Daniel and Houston from Arms Family Homestead and uh, we're back in the orange. The orange army means uh, it's time to do a little deer hunting, right? Yep. So Oklahoma has been, uh, has made it very clear that our wildlife department has made it very clear they want more does harvested. And uh, the last several years they'd opened up what they call a holiday antlerless season. So even if you've tagged out and you've got your limit, of deer for the season in Oklahoma, you get two additional doe tags during the holiday antlerless season. So this, so far this year, I haven't harvested a deer, period. Houston has got one buck, you're allowed two. Um, Andy's killed two does. One was given to a friend of ours to put in his freezer. One went to our in-laws. And then my daughter Emily shot a small doe and most of that went into jerky and we ate the, you know, the back straps and things and uh, here we are like at the end of the year and we haven't put a deer in our freezer yet oh. so we have a few does coming in and we really still need to harvest a couple off of our property we're hunting at the house not at mill creek uh houston's gonna shoot a doe tonight i have a feeling but if we get the chance we might double up we might kill two does tonight yeah we'll see um it's not cold by the way <laughs> december 30th and it's about 60 degrees out beautiful weather beautiful day and uh, time to harvest some dough to put in the freezer. Yeah, we've never doubled up and shot, both of us shot a deer in the same day before. Yeah. I think we're gonna need this one, not the 22. Yeah. No trapping today. Well, I mean, we're still trapping. But not right now. But this video is deer hunting grab my hoodie because it's going to get cold before dark. Houston's got his Superman cape on. Yeah. <laughs> In real tree. settled in here in this uh this old pop-up line i'm gonna say it's probably uh, lived its life expectancy we've hunted a lot of hours out of this little pop-up that's sitting on a trailer i think before next year season we're gonna upgrade and have a little nicer blind over here and uh anyways we're gonna try to uh knock down a couple does today now we've got a couple of tools in our arsenal we haven't got to use yet we've got our thermal monocular, which we don't have it with us right now. You can't legally hunt with that. But we do have our thermal to help find a doe, find a deer when we put them down. We've also got Gemma. Gemma hasn't got to track a deer. Yes, we do have that. So if we shoot a doe and it runs off, we're going to go back, get Gemma, and let her do her thing. But uh, we are doe hunting today. While it is still archery season in Oklahoma, you could harvest a deer with a bow, crossbow. All we have is our cva rifle right now because we're on doe patrol and knowing our luck we'll probably have the biggest buck of the year step out in front of us this evening yes <laughs> hope not kind of I don't think you're 
supposed to say that about the ladies? Well, it's a, it's a deer. They won't know. Oh, okay. We've got three does, but they're about 250 yards out. It's just a matter of whether they're gonna make it here or if they even come here, period. But if they do, if they make it here before, we run out of shooting line. I think we'll get one. That one's coming this way. To the far left. Almost one of them this way. far you know why because all three deer ran off except for that one. two went to the right one that you shot went into the little thicket and she never came out the right side just like the last time i think there's one right there that you could shoot i think there's one right there there is one right there but that's that's behind a bunch of trees Well, we've still got two two deer in the field, the, the other two. But as you can see, the camera won't focus on it, and it's uh, it's too dark to shoot, really. So we're not going to take a shot at one of those. It's been about 15 minutes since Houston shot that doe. We watched the footage and re reviewed it a couple times, and right when he shoots, you see a black flash. And it was just this piece of fabric from our blind. It lined up perfectly with the camera lens where that doe was standing. He didn't shoot it, but it just flapped just right in front of the lens. The air got it. So we watched that doe go into this thicket and she never came out the right side, just like the last time Houston shot a doe in almost the same spot. So I say we go back to the house, grab Gemma. Yes. Bring her over here and let her track that doe. I mean, I think she's on the ground right over there, but it'd be good practice for Gemma. Yes. My nose it's time to go to work. Don't run off on me, Gemma. Hey, we got a deer. You gotta go find it. Can you go find that deer? Huh? Can you go find the deer? Hmm? Oh, Hang on. Oh my goodness, she's excited. Oh, she's excited. Let's go. Come on. Let's go find a deer. All right, Gemma. Hang on, huh? Calm down. Calm down. 
Here, no. it's not on there yet, Gemma. It's not we gotta go find him. We gotta go find it. Gemma. <laughs> You're gonna have to hold her. She's a little bit excited. Yeah. You ready to go, Gemma? It's time to go to work. Go find the deer. Yeah. Where's that deer, Gemma? Where's that deer? It's not back there, Gemma. <laughs> she thinks it's in the back already. Yeah. Find my deer. Are you excited? You gonna go track a deer, Gemma? All right, Houston, shut the old tracker dog down. We're gonna see if we can get her on some sign. Our doe was kind of over in this general direction when we shot. We haven't looked for blood or hair or anything just yet, but uh, we're gonna find some sign and see if we can get Gemma, the little miniature dachshund tracking dog, on the case. I'm not dear Gemma. Just let her work, let her see what she can find. She's working in the right general direction, but she got to figure out what we're doing first, okay? Let's go, Gemma. Where's the deer? Come on. Gemma, where's that deer at? that deer, Gemma. She hadn't found the trail yet. All right, here's where the doe was standing when Houston shot. There's hair. Oh, Gemma found the hair. What is it? Find go that find that deer. Gemma. Find that deer. Let's go. Come on, Gemma. Find, find that deer. deer. Come on. Find that deer, Gemma. Where's that? I'm not dear, Gemma. Where's it at? She got that hair. There you go. Come on. I'm not dear, Gemma. Where's it at? I'm not dear, Gemma. She got to figure out which way it went when you shot. She knows it was there. She's all in the hair. Yeah. She just don't know which way to take off. Here we go. Come on, Gemma. Find, Find that deer. deer. Get on the trail. There you go. Find that deer, Gemma. Where's, Where's that deer? deer? Which way she go? Hmm? Where's she at? Where's that deer? Find that deer, Gemma. Come on. Find my deer, Gemma. Where's it at? <laughs> so she did. Gemma. Good What'd girl. you find there, Gemma? Hmm? Good girl. Oh, that's a big doe. Houston shot a big old doe and made a perfect Ooh. shot. Ooh, look at that, baby. Perfect shot. No blood. I never saw a single drop of blood. Did you? Why is she going right for the the shot? Because she knows. Yeah, that doe really only ran about yeah. 50 yards, and we thought we knew where she fell, but uh, we wanted to get Gemma a little bit of practice, and there was not a single drop of blood, and yeah. Gemma was a little bit confused. She followed the trail and come in, and then kind of smelled around over there and walked around, and Houston said, well, there she is right there. Yeah. Gemma, she's tearing her up. Look at her. Yeah. Good girl, Gemma. Good girl. Use a good dog. Yeah. Well, what do you think, Houston? It's a big doe. Gemma, good girl. You got the you got deer here all over you. We're gonna have to hurry up and get this girl back to the house, or Gemma's gonna have it skin out here in the field. Ready? Oh. That's a big girl, Houston. All right. We'll take care of her. Well, big man. Got one. Got you another doe down. Yep. That one's going to put a lot of meat in the freezer. Yeah, it is. She's, <laughs> she's definitely the biggest one you've killed this year. Yeah. Well, with Christmas break, coming to an end and kids being back in school and having to check all of Houston's traps for him today. He's got school all day and then I actually have batting practice after school so we want to check these things early. We don't want to leave animals in these traps and uh, by law in Oklahoma you have to run them every 24 hours and Houston won't be home until after dark today so I'm doing it alone this time. Ouch! Hit me right in the face. Well would you look at that Earl? Houston's at school, but out on his trap line, we caught uh, a raccoon in a dog proof. It's the first time we've made a catch at this set. There's a nice trail goes under the fence, and uh, not a very big raccoon, but we're going to get it taken care of real quick and see what all else we got. You better keep your distance, dude. Okay? Just load up. There you go. Stay there. 
Nothing in that one, Earl. Nobody's home there. Well, well, well. Got a little possum today. This little creek, this little high bank creek set right here, I know is gonna produce. I, I mean, I've shown you guys the trail both ways and then up from the creek. And today, it produced a possum. Got another possum, buddy. That's two possums and two raccoons on the day. What do you think, Mr. Possum? Earl, if he snapped at you, you're gonna jump and run and scream. Good thing he's just playing possum, huh? That's one thing about a possum. Hey. Just kind of late there. It's kind of the pits. Um, not complaining. Today, so far, we've got two possums and two raccoons, and uh, it just kind of stinks that Houston's not here with me. He's at school, and the thing is, the last two mornings we've checked, he, Jacoby was with us even. He uh, stayed the night with us, stayed a couple days during Christmas break, and uh, we caught one pot, or one, no, we caught one raccoon one day and nothing a couple other days. And uh, some nights these animals move, and some nights they don't, and apparently last night was a night for them all to be moving. All right, y'all, so that brings the uh, trapping total up so far to, I believe, I've got it all on my computer, I'd have to go look, but I think that's 12 raccoons, three possum, and one coyote. No bobcat or fox yet, but uh, hopefully we get on some more coyotes. We've been adding a few more traps to our sets and stuff. And listen, I know the trapping stuff's not everybody's cup of tea, but I just, to be brutally honest with you guys, we just love to share our interest. We love to share what we're doing. We love to share the management as aspect of our land ownership and trying to make things better for deer and turkeys and ducks and whatever wild game that is. Um, speaking of wild game, Trashy, get off of my kitchen. It is, uh, it's getting, getting almost supper time and I'm going to start cooking. So since Houston killed that doe, wouldn't be a catch clean and cook video if we didn't cook some. And my wife's not a huge deer meat fan like just i love it i love pretty much any way my wife not so much one thing she does love is a good pot of chili and it's winter time it may not be 20 degrees out but we're gonna cook a pot of chili now listen i don't go super fancy when it comes to chili and you'll notice there is not a can of beans over here because i don't believe beans belong in chili what do you think earl i don't think you care so basic very simple chili recipe. We got our ground meat. I'll tell show go over all that, show you what it is. My favorite chili seasoning of all time, Williams chili seasoning. And guess what? There's beans in that picture, but you know, there's no beans in my chili. V8 juice, tomato paste, and fire roasted diced tomatoes. So the meat we're gonna be using, you notice there's several different options here, several different kinds. So this is 100% homegrown, Ralph ground beef. Ralph, if you've been around for a little while, was our steer we processed several months ago. That's a pound and a half of beef. These are two one pound packages of ground deer meat. Had, they did add a little bit of fat to it, not much. It's like 90, 10, maybe even less. They add a little bit of fat at the processor for me. 
uh, but it is still pretty lean. And one thing we always add into our chili is breakfast sausage. Uh, blue and gold breakfast sausage is our favorite. I didn't thaw one out. I didn't want to break into a whole five pound stick of blue and gold. So this is one pound of Jimmy Dean. So I'm gonna brown all this up and then start adding the other ingredients. Very simple to make deer chili. Tell you what, I love cooking out here over this propane burner right here in my outdoor kitchen. My wife, I can't really talk her into coming out here and cooking. It's uh, it's beautiful out here today. I mean, probably 60 degrees, but I just browned up almost, what's it, four and a half pounds of ground deer and pork and beef in five minutes. I had a timer on my phone. Five minutes. In the house, that would have taken in one pot 20, 25 minutes on our electric stove. I just, like I said, I love cooking. I love cooking out here. It's, I don't know, it's just different. Cooking chili in a cast iron Dutch oven. I mean, how can you go wrong, right? And next I'm gonna add my Williams chili seasoning. This is actually, this one package is actually enough for four pounds, but if you go a little heavier, that's, you know, we like it a little, with a little bit more kick to it. Not that it's gonna be just super hot chili, Earl. I promise it won't burn your mouth. So for that four and a half pounds of meat, I'm gonna use enough seasoning, at least by the label, recommended for a four pound package and about half of that two pound package. And then we'll go from there. Save a little bit and mix all that in before I add in my tomato ingredients. My wife likes it very finely chopped up smaller pieces the better for her all right i'm gonna add two cans of fire roasted diced tomatoes now if you can't tell there's no recipe here this is just eyeballing and taste and flavor and i'm also going to add about probably half of that can of tomato paste but you know tomato paste doesn't dump so just trust me all right we're gonna let all those flavors just mold and not mold. Maybe mold's the wrong word. Mold together is what I was going for. You know, like clay, you know? That was what I was going for. But mold's probably the wrong word. And my family just pulled up. I think they're here. Yeah. We'll have supper ready in a jiffy. I do like to let this cook. It's going to need to simmer for 20 or 30 minutes. But, you know, the thing is, it's just now 540, so... We'll let it cook for probably 30 or 40 minutes. I'm also gonna add in some, uh, some of that V8 juice for some, some liquid. So just plain old V8 vegetable juice. We're not gonna add the whole bottle, obviously, but it does need a little liquid to simmer in and that vegetable, vegetable juice goes good with your chili. So we'll let it do its thing for a while. And there's all my people yeah. dressed like dweebs. Well, who, who, she yeah, don't have on people. socks. You got your pants tucked in, tucked into your in socks. This. Lots of people. He got his pants tucked into his yeah, socks. I'm wearing it because I told woo. you. Yeah, Gemma even agreed with me. Did you hear? She said, woo, weirdos. Is that coyote? Huh? Is that coyote? Did we catch a coyote? Is that coyote? Uh, no, it is not coyote. You're not eating what coyote. is it, raccoon? No. What is it? It's deer. Oh. And beef. Know. It's chili. You should know. We are not eating tiger. So that's basically it. A pot of deer chili. Take some some ground meat, whatever, deer, elk, beef, whatever you got. Fire roasted diced tomatoes, tomato paste, V8, Williams chili seasoning. That's really about it. That's all it needs. Um, I know there's like major, major, major uh, competitions for chili cook-offs and things. But I like it simple. Nothing super fancy, not super hot. My kids don't like it super spicy. And this 
chili, this chili just like this, is the way my wife prefers to eat deer meat, hands down. All right, everyone says it's time to eat, so I'm gonna take my pot of deer chili in the house and have some supper. What'd you say? So where's the cinnamon rolls? We're from Oklahoma. We're not from Nebraska. <laughs> I know. My sister-in-law does Marissa's that. got you hooked on it. So we're actually having Frito chili pies. Like These Fritos right here are the best. Mm. Lightly salted Fritos are like addicting. Mm. And I hate that, but they are good. And they're, they're healthier Fritos. They are. Not. Nothing healthy about them. <laughs> Frito chili pie. What? Ew. Made with deer that houston harvested from our own land yay all right there boss mom since you're the one that uh is not a fan of eating deer mm -hmm. this is the deer that i do like the only way i like deer yeah not the only way you eat jerky too mm. that's busting it's pretty good beans or no beans no beans that's right that's right i did a poll on instagram on my story and like 75% of people said, put beans in it. I will say, mine's usually spicier than this. Okay. I was just saying. Okay. This one doesn't like spicy at all. Hate it. But how's that? Really good. Oh, also somebody on Instagram said they put spaghetti noodles That's in their weird. chili. That's weird. And then you got those Nebraska folks. Ooh, what happened to you? <laughs> got those Nebraska folks. That eat cinnamon rolls with their chili. Yep. And that's just weird, too. It is weird, but it's it's really good. I mean, I like cinnamon rolls. And I like chili. But they don't belong together. Oh, man. It's up for debate. I'm kind of plain and boring, if you can't tell. 